Today, I'm going to explain the movie ADHD is Necessary, released in the year 2018. The story is set in a dystopian world where only the best children and their families are allowed to survive, while the weak ones are thrown to live in poverty. The students who score straight A's in school are given a luxurious apartment, hefty monthly income, and higher social status. Sexual reproduction is forbidden, and women are implanted with an embryo to reproduce. They have only one role in society, to be a good mother and make your children the best students in class. When a child gets good grades, his mother is awarded a glowing pin by the government. It is said to be a token of appreciation for the mother's contribution to society. In one of such award functions, Yang Chuan is called on stage. She is regarded as the finest mother because her late son, Ruo Jie, was the best student they ever had. He never scored anything less than an A and was Chuan's pride before his death. Currently, Chuan is taking care of her youngest daughter, Nova, who she hopes will make her proud like her son. Chuan has also written a book on how a mother can help her child in today's society. She's quite popular among other mothers who frequently follow her around asking for tips. A woman in the audience asks Chuan about her deepest secret on how she helped her children. The question takes Chuan aback, but she quickly recovers and makes up a vague answer. Still, it's evident that she's hiding something. At the same time, some government officials are discussing the rise of patients with sleeping disorders. According to state law, people with such problems are faulty embryos that must be destroyed. This means that everyone with sleeping disorders must be killed in an advancement program. Researcher Yi Xian notices that almost every person suffering from a sleeping disorder is a student who isn't doing well in school. This could mean that they're being misdiagnosed because their corrupt mothers do not want to give up the expensive apartments that would be taken away if the child fails the semester. Yi Xian tells the government officials about his theory, but they dismiss him. In reality, they also want to get rid of the poor students who won't be of any use to the country in the long run. The advancement program is just a cover for them to be able to kill whoever they want without being convicted. When Yi Xian starts to retaliate against the system, he is falsely accused of running an underground rebellious organization against the state. Chuan and Nova are walking home after the award ceremony. Alongside them, the students with low scores are being taken to the advancement program. Suddenly, a rebel interrupts them, announcing that the program is a hoax and they are going to be killed. Panic ensues when everyone starts running away trying to dodge the guards. Amidst it, Chuan's scarf falls to the floor and gets dirty. When everyone calms down, Nova goes to the bathroom to wash the scarf. She bumps into Ling Na, the rebel from earlier and the mother of researcher Yi Xian. Ling Na seems to know Chuan's secret that she hasn't told anyone about. She gives Nova a keyring, claiming it to be a gift from her late brother. Nova is beyond confused, but she keeps the gift anyway. Later, she notices breaking news on a billboard. Researcher Yi Xian was guilty of running an underground rebel organization, hence, he was executed. Nova recognizes her as the woman she met a few minutes earlier. Usually, Nova is quick to tell her mother everything that happens in her life, but she refrains from doing so this time. In the following scene, she's at home with her private tutor. We find out that she's not as good of a student as her late brother. With every exam, her grades have been dropping, much to Chuan's worry. More than her grades, she's scared of losing the privileges that come with it. After the class, the tutor frankly tells Chuan that Nova might fail in the next semester. Because of this, one of the lights in Chuan's pin goes off. The tutor explains that it indicates her daughter's declining grades. If Nova doesn't study harder, all the lights in her pin will turn off and she will lose the top mother privileges. To teach Nova a lesson, she brings her to the slums where the people with low grades live. Nova, who has been accustomed to luxurious life since her birth, is distressed at the sight of dirty streets. She understands her mother's concern and is trying her best, but her grades are just not helping. In the following scene, Chuan takes her pin off to go to the grocery shop, not wanting people to notice the missing light on it. However, as she puts it down, an alarm goes off, urging her to put it back on. In the state, the pin is equivalent to the responsibility of a mother that she should always carry with her. At the grocery shop, she tries her best to hide the pin, but a fellow mother notices it nonetheless. When asked how Nova is doing in school, Chuan lies that she's doing even better than her son. The same day, she also sees a mother being kicked out of the apartment complex because of her son's bad grade. Chuan holds her pin tightly, seeing herself in the woman and dreading a future like hers. A few days later, the second light in her pin goes off, suggesting that Nova has not made any improvement. Chuan starts to panic, knowing that if she's kicked out of the apartment, she will be humiliated. Only the thought is enough for her to take strong measures. The next day at school, Nova acts completely out of character. 
In contrast to her usual calm and composed attitude, she lashes out at people for no reason and argues with the teacher when called out for her behavior. When Chuan is reported about the incident, she immediately brings her daughter to the hospital. Nova continues fidgeting throughout the visit and is rude to everyone. After evaluating the symptoms, the doctor diagnoses her with ADHD. It is one of such disorders that will cause Nova to be sent to an advancement program. But unknown to the truth about the program, she doesn't think much of it. The following day, Nova accidentally hits her teacher on the leg. The problem could have been solved with a simple apology, but instead, she asks him to watch where he's going. The argument escalates when the teacher holds her arm, urging her to apologize. Nova panics and runs to the edge of the building, threatening to jump off it. Fortunately for her, a classmate named Chi Zheng stops her in time. Later, Chuan brings Nova home and serves her dinner, without acknowledging what she did earlier. Then it's disclosed that Chuan asked her daughter to act that way. She secretly knows what happens in the advancement camps and wants to get rid of Nova by sending her to them. If she is diagnosed with a higher level of ADHD, she will be considered a faulty embryo, and hence, Chuan can continue living in luxury because Nova's failure won't be her fault. On Nova's birthday, Chuan knows that her classmates will shower her with gifts. To make her ADHD look believable, she asks Nova to destroy all the presents. Nova agrees, but her usually nice character doesn't allow her to be mean to the friends who she loves so much. Chuan watches the commotion on a laptop, waiting for Nova to do as told, but she never does. Later, Chi Zhang asks Nova about what happened to her yesterday. Nova makes up an excuse and changes the topic. Chi Zhang is a guy from the slums. Although he's fairly good in his studies, his grades are not good enough. Hence, he lives in a small house with his mother who works hard to pay for his needs. On reaching home, Nova apologizes to her mother for not obeying her orders. It is too difficult for her to be rude to her friends, hence she doesn't want to go through with the plan anymore. Instead, she promises to study as much as she can and get good grades. Later at night, Nova comes across the key ring that the lady had given her. She shows it to her mother who is beyond surprised. She inquires where it came from and is mad at Nova for not showing it to her earlier. Still, she doesn't reveal its significance. In a flashback, we see that the key ring was a handmade gift from Chuan's first son, Ruo Jie. He was a star student, one who everyone loved. His diligence is the reason why Chuan is successful as an author. In the present, Nova starts to work hard to better her grades. She also stops pretending to have ADHD, and surprisingly enough, Chuan seems to be okay with it. Then, one day, on her way back home, she bumps into Ling Na. The woman somehow knows that Nova was pretending to have ADHD. When asked about how she found out, she urges Nova to read the guidebook that every mother is given while being implanted with an embryo. She also reveals that people are secretly being killed in the advancement programs. Hence, Chuan has been urging Nova to pretend to have ADHD because she wants to keep her privileges at the cost of her daughter's life. Nova doesn't want to believe the stranger, but Ling Na doesn't stop there. She claims that her brother Ruo Jie's death wasn't an accident. Later that day, Nova reads the article about Ruo Jie's death and discovers that he was hit by a truck. Deciding to find out the truth, she goes to see the truck driver who affirms that Ruo Jie had deliberately ended his life by jumping in front of his vehicle. Nova is shocked because a great student like Ruo Jie couldn't have been depressed enough to end his own life. For the first time in her life, she is starting to realize the truth of her existence and her mother's actual nature. At school, she asks Qi Zheng about the advancement program. In turn, he urges her to be quiet, confirming that he does know something about it, but is too scared to talk. Chuan sees them chatting through the surveillance cameras and assumes they're a couple. The very next day, she reluctantly goes to the slums to meet Qi Zheng and asks him to stay away from her daughter. Somewhere else, Nova reads the official mother's guide and confirms that she's about to be sent to the advancement program. Not wasting much time, she runs away from home to Qi Zheng's house. His mother takes her to a secret tunnel that leads them to a camp of survivors of the advancement program. Several people who are considered the society's rejects live there in peace. It was established by Ling Na after her son's execution. She believes that every kid is unique and grades don't define their worth. The place is a dream for someone like Nova. Still, she cannot help but feel like she's betraying her mother. After a lot of thinking, she decides to return home again. When Chuan sees her, she simply asks her to eat dinner disregarding the fact that she hasn't been home in hours. Nova apologizes for letting her down yet again and promises to study even harder this time. She desperately asks her mother if she loves her, but Chuan doesn't answer. Later, Nova is in the shower when she feels dizzy and registers that her dinner was drugged. 
When she opens her eyes, she is in a hospital bed surrounded by doctors who declare that she is a faulty embryo. This means that she will have to go to the advancement program to be executed. In the following scene, we see Chuan being implanted with another embryo. It is clear that she was successful in getting rid of Nova, and now has a new chance with a third baby. However, on waking up after the transplant, she finds herself in the tunnel that leads to the survivor camp. Ling Na asks her if she is happy after killing two of her children, but Chuan shows no remorse. She is only focused on her third child, who she hopes will eventually make her proud. In a flashback, we see that Ruo Jie wanted to be a carpenter, but since his grades were good, Chuan never allowed him to pursue his dreams. The pressure of being the perfect student was too much for him, which eventually led him to death. In the present, Chuan informs the police about the survivor's camp. All the students in it are arrested and killed. In the last scene, Chuan is in an interview to promote her new book. When asked about her secret to growing an excellent child, she claims that if you really want something to happen, there is always a way. The movie ends as the antagonist wins. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.